In this video, we're going to talk about how to evaluate composite functions using tables. So let's start with this expression. What is the value of this expression? What does that expression even mean? f, which is written first, is on the outside. g, which is written second, is on the inside. So what appears to look like fog is really f of g of 2. So what we need to do first is evaluate the function on the inside. What is g of 2? So when x is 2, what is the value of g? Here we see x is 2 and the value of g is 3. So that means that g of 2 is equal to 3. So we're going to replace g of 2 with 3. So we're going to have f of 3. So now when x is 3, what is the value of f? When x is 3, we can see that f is equal to negative 4. And so that is the answer for this problem. f of g of 2 is equal to minus 4. And that's how you solve it. Now, let's try another example. But first, let me clear away a few things. So go ahead and try this. g of f of 1. Feel free to take a minute and use the table to answer that one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. g is on the outside. f is on the inside. So let's evaluate the part on the inside. What is f of 1? So when x is equal to 1, f has a value of 5. So we can replace f of 1 with 5, giving us g of 5. Now when x is 5, we can see that g has a value of negative 7. And so that's going to be the answer. g of f of 1 is equal to minus 7. Now for the sake of practice, go ahead and try these two examples. f of f of let's say 2 and then g of g of 1. Go ahead and work on those two problems. So let's rewrite this as f of f of 2. So when x is 2, f has a value of 4. So right now we have f of 4. And when x is 4, f has a value of 9. So f of 4 is equal to 9. And so this is the answer for the third problem. f of f of 2 is equal to 9. Now moving to the next example, we have g of g of 1. So when x is 1, what is g? When x is 1, we can see that g is equal to 3. And so now we have g of 3. When x is 3, we can see g is equal to 5. So g of g of 1, the final answer is 5. Let's work on some more problems. Try this. f of g of 4 plus g of f of 2. Go ahead and work on that problem. So let's evaluate g of 4. When x is 4, g is equal to 1. So g of 4 is 1. Now, let's evaluate f of 2. So when x is 2, f is 4. Now we need to evaluate f of 1. When x is 1, we can see f has a value of 5. And then g of 4, when x is 4, g has a function value of 1. So we get 5 plus 1, which is 6. And so that's it for this problem. Let's work on one more for the sake of practice. So let's say that we have f of f of 5 
minus g of g of 3. Go ahead and try that. So when x is 5, f has a value of 0. And when x is 3, g has a value of 5. Now f of 0, when x is 0, f has a value of 10. And g of 5, when x is 5, g has a value of negative 7. So it's 10 minus negative 7, which we could change the two negative signs into a positive sign. So this becomes 10 plus 7, which is equal to 17. And so that's the answer for this one. So now you know how to evaluate composite functions using a table.